Oh my gosh. <gasps> I am literally. <laughs> Hey Luz, I know it's been about maybe 10 days, <laughs> but I am getting ready to film episodes three and four of Jenny and Georgia. But first, this month returns Bridgerton. And this is where this channel got its wings. Like this series is part of why this channel is growing. It's part of why this channel is now monetized. And so I wanted to take a moment to make sure that we reacted to the season three Bridgerton trailer. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm excited. I've been doing everything in my power to avoid clips, teasers. I've been trying to stay off social media because I really want you guys to get an authentic reaction from me with this trailer. So I'm so excited. I bet you guys are excited too. Before we get into this uh, trailer and before we start this reaction, Make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any other reactions from me. And let's start the season three trailer for Bridgerton. Dearest gentle reader, we have been apart for far too long. Far too long. The way Penn is giving face and hair and it seems oh. that our bon ton is moving with the changing tide. So too is... What is she doing with her? I don't like that. <laughs> I must take a husband. Does my lady have a suitor in mind? Is that her brother? Colin. Oh. Papa! Oh, this woman. Brother, under what foreign sun did you apparently oh, get no, so no, no. sturdy? <laughs> now he said he was sturdy. I know that's right. <laughs> Seems as though every Bridgerton was born to attract notice. For some of us, notice is very slight. I feel like I'm gonna cry. If a husband is what you seek, let me help you. Are we not friends? Ooh. My heart is racing. Friends. I should like to see your skills as they are first. How delightful to see you all. The splendid weather we are having. Oh, she's, she's gonna pass out. I would not be angry if I'm to be a lost cause. You must not say such things. You are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. Mm. I know that's right. <laughs> Since when are you worried about Penelope? He burns for her, that's why. Diamonds are not the only gems that sparkle. Ah! Miss Feathering Ton! My wig about to come up! Lord Debling. He is eager to take a wife this season. You look especially beautiful tonight, Miss Featherington. <sighs> Y'all, I'm gonna cry! Mother, do you believe the best foundation for love is friendship? It is rare, but you must follow your heart. What is the primary force that guides us along our paths? Penelope. Is it our minds or our hearts? Oh. <laughs> Y'all, okay. As someone who's been watching from season one, there is something about seeing a woman go from feeling undervalued, unseen, unheard, to literally blossoming, blossoming, to literally blossoming into who she really is. Because if she wasn't this girl, we wouldn't have all of this whistle down stuff. Like she has to pull it from somewhere. I am gagging. I'm gagging. And the actors are really selling it. Really, really selling it. I am on fire for this season. Y'all, full transparency. What is it next weekend that Bridgerton, you know, season three begins? I'm gonna be steeped in this. 
I am going to do my very best to get the next two episodes of Jenny and Georgia out for you guys for this coming weekend because I already know next weekend is going to be crazy and I'm probably going to binge watch I think they're releasing the first four episodes I have to the way my heart is still racing one thing that I've mentioned on this channel before that I'm a huge fan of is transformations and Penelope is going through a transformation this year I think more so than anyone that we've seen in the series and I'm so here for it I do wonder though like what's gonna happen with you know the whole whistle down persona is she gonna keep doing it is she gonna tell Colin about it I know a lot of you that have read the series you know the answers to these questions um, I have chosen not to read it because I don't want to ruin what I'm saying by creating expectations around what I form in my mind, if that makes sense. I'm so glad I waited to watch this on the channel because I'm telling you like that whole part of her putting on her lipstick, getting dressed, sort of stepping away from that ugly Featherington color story and coming into her own, that brought me to tears. If you don't know it already, I am a girl's girl and I love to see women win. And I can already tell like 100% love that Colin's finally coming around, blah, blah, blah. But like this girl who has felt ignored and invisible to everyone around her, is stepping into her own and she's like no I am that girl like I'm here <sighs> and I think truly that is what made Colin fall in love with her men are attracted to confidence they are and I'm pretty sure that's kind of like probably the foundation of their love story but like <sighs> I'm so excited and ready for this okay not gonna drag this out it's supposed to be a quick video but yes, if you have not already, make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for the next two episodes of Ginny and Georgia. Okay.